Okay, dear students, this is Professor Varun, and I believe we are all set now. I'm waiting for the relay to come, and okay, so let me see if uh, we are now. If we can start now, yes, everything is fine. Just a moment, please. Just a moment. Let me verify if I am online or not. Well, everything is all set now, I believe. Okay, so there we are. So let us start today's uh, PYQ lecture, my dear student, uh, for the topic of for the topic of uh, <coughs> vertical circles for um, work energy power. So let us start with a little of my introduction and uh, about the Academy Plus program. So uh, this is, as you all know, Professor Varun here on an on a YouTube channel of an academy and I completed my graduation in the stream of uh, mechanical engineering from the college LIT Surat Gujarat. This is my graduation and I completed my post graduation in the stream of thermal engineering from Punjab Engineering College Chandigarh as you can see and uh, since my post graduation I am a teacher and since 2013 I am straightforward teaching physics for straight seven years and hence I have seven year experience of uh, teaching physics so this was a little about uh, my myself and um, let us now move to uh, something about uh, an academy plus program so majorly you know these things now uh, you can see that an academy plus is the paid program of an academy and uh, in this program an academy is providing those such um, facilities which are otherwise not available with special classes so <clears throat> i am professor varun i'm conducting free live special classes on an academy app also but uh, those classes are not structured and there are some limitations to it there is no test series involved and nothing there so that is why and this is a problem so now uh, so what are the uh, premium contents and the services that are not available otherwise Premium content at affordable price is provided. Structured live courses. I'm sorry for my <coughs> throat because it's not um, that good today. And uh, test series is also provided with the complete analysis. Single subscriptions for unlimited access and quizzes at regular interval with the uh, for self analysis so these are some of the things like dedicated live doubt clearing session these are some things which are of prime importance but otherwise they are not available on an academy platform so moving next the prices are already very less but even then if we are looking for even better discount you can use this code there and the code is goyal live and this code uh, we would be able to use and uh, you would be having 10 percent discount there okay so moving next this is uh, another uh, slide and uh, i have put this slide to tell you how much will be the cost of an academy so if you are having like uh, you're joining for 12 months the price is 12,375 which becomes only 1000 rupees per month okay and for six months it is just 1700 rupees per month but this is little costlier in comparison so it is better if you go for 12 month plan so if you are preparing for EMCAT 2020 my dear students you must understand that there is this Telugu batch available so if you are having any language problem that will be solved here so this much is enough about me and an academy so let us now move to the subject that we are having now and that is PYQs for uh, the topic of vertical circles in work energy and power chapter okay so 
let us start with this uh, topic my dear students so there is this is the first question in a circus stuntman rides a motorbike with a circular track of radius r in a vertical plane the minimum speed at highest point of the track will be and well we are now uh, completing the pyqs for the topic of vertical circles so as we all know this is the uh, vertical circle so let us take this example let us say this is the vertical circle so here is the motorcyclist okay see what is uh, actually taking place here this is the circle and there is a motorcyclist here so now what is happening this motorcycle is trying to cover the loop let us go back to the question and read it once again a circus stuntman rides a motorbike in a circular track of radius r in the vertical plane the minimum speed at the highest point will be so what will be the minimum speed at this point well now because he is a stuntman he is doing this exercise my dear student this is known as looping the loop <clears throat> and now we want to find the condition of looping the loop so if you know the answer please my dear student comment in the comment section with the answer you are having the options a b and c and d otherwise if you are not aware of this i would be driving this formula in front of you so i'm waiting for you for couple of seconds please do reply if you want the derivation or you know it okay so let us uh, now do it so my dear student now the question is that what will be its velocity at this juncture so let us say the velocity is v okay and now we want to find uh, its uh, minimum velocity so what will be the minimum velocity we have to draw the free body diagram at this point so what will it be now there will be a downward force of m into g and if we talk about the circular motion it cannot be conducted if there is no centripetal or centrifugal force you must be aware about it so centrifugal force must be there so what will be the centrifugal force it will be this so this is the i will write it here it's centrifugal it is not centripetal this is centrifugal force not centripetal and this force this will be the velocity v so when we say that we want to go for the minimum velocity we will say that fc should be equal to mg because that will be the limiting condition because if mg will become more than fc the body will fall so fc should always be so this is the minimum velocity with which it should keep on moving so if you are moving it with a constant speed doesn't matter because let us say there is a motor which is rotating the bucket so if it is having the minimum velocity of root 5 gr the water will not spill actually if there was no motor when the bucket will move to the bottom the velocity will become root of 5 gr but let us say there is a motor so it will be root of gr okay so moving next Question number six. A wheel is subjected to a uniform angular acceleration about its axis. Initially, the angular velocity is zero. In first two seconds, it rot rotates to the angle theta one. In the next two seconds, it rotates to an additional angle theta two. The ratio of this is. So alpha is given there. Initially, its angular velocity is zero. In first two seconds, it rotates to an angle theta one. In next two seconds, it rotates to theta two. Okay, I believe this uh, there is some problem here because theta one and theta two is not given. 
again I think that this question is missing something so it should not be like this I must check this question I'm sorry for the wrong question that I am posting here but anyways let us move to next question without wasting our time a 1 kg stone at the end of 1 meter long string is whirled in a vertical circle at constant speed of this the tension in the string is 6 newton where the stone is at stone is at what position so my dear student uh, stone it as at what position so we will see it whether at the top or at the bottom or at any other thing so let us have the special case of top so for top uh, the weight mg will be 1 into 9.8 and what about the FC? So this is 16 Newton. So it means that at top, if it is having this much velocity at the top, it is having 16 Newton, the centrifugal, and 9.8 is acting in a downward fashion. So what will be the tension here? Tension will be the difference of these two. So that will be 16 minus 9.8 which you can take 10 so it should come out okay it is already given that we have to take 10 so the tension will be 6 newton so it will be at the top of the circle my dear student this is really very important concept because this the bob is moving at a constant speed in a vertical circle so quickly we are moving to question number eight a cane filled with water is revolved in a vertical circle of radius four meter water just does not fall down the time period of the revolution will be so we must see the time period of the revolution okay so this is uh, what we are going to do is we will assume that it is moving with some certain velocity and the cane filled with water revolved vertical circle of radius this so let us say it is moving with a constant velocity because otherwise the time period will not, it will be impossible for us to find the time period because the velocity is a variable. So we will assume it that velocity is not a variable and the question 8 is actually referring to a situation that is in question number 7. So what it will be, we will see that we have to find the velocity. So v will be equal to root of gr at the top and we will say that it is moving with the constant velocity so that the water is not spilling off so what will be the time period time period will be 2 pi r root of gr so that will be the concept and it is 4 so 2 into pi into 4 divided by uh, root of g g can be taken as a 10 here and 4 meters so that will be root 10 you can say so it will be 4 pi divided by root 10 so we must check the answer first of all so it is given in seconds we must take an approximate value for this so it will be so i have to refer to my calculator now okay so 4 multiply by pi divided by bracket square root of 10 Well, this is coming out to be 3.97, so which can be taken as 4 seconds, dear student, there it is, we have got it. We can we can have some <coughs> approximations also there, like for example, 4 into pi, pi can be taken as 3, so 4, 3 is a 12 divided by root of 10. So we know that 3 square is equal to 9, so this should be approximately equal to 3, so we can say that our answer will be approximately equal to 4 but I am having the service of calculator available here that is why I have used it so dear student we are left with only two questions for today's class so let us move to question number 9 a 2 kg stone at the end of 1 meter long wall is whirled at a constant speed the speed of this is 4 the tension is in 54 52 when again the same question so let us see uh, what will be the centrifugal force at the top m v square by r so that is 32 newton and this is fc and the weight will be m into g so 2 into we will take it 10 so 20 newton so if at the top we see when we will subtract these two 
we will get the tension at the top. So that will be basically 12 or 22 Newtons. But he is talking about 52. So as we can see that it is 1 force is 32, now there is 22, 20. We need to add them. This will be at the bottom of the circle because at the bottom of the circle we need to add these two. So that will be B. Okay students, so let us move to our last question for today and that is question number 10. A body slides down a frictionless track uh, which ends in a circular loop of diameter D. Then the minimum height H of the body in terms of D the radius will be D by 2 so that it may just complete the loop is so what it should be well let us see so we see that if the body will be at the bottom and let us say it is completing the loop the velocity will be root of 5g r so we will see what is the kinetic energy here and we will equate with the potential energy here so kinetic energy there will be half into m into v square So this should be equal to m into g and h. So we need to find h and from this equation we will find it. So that is coming out to be 5 by 4d. Well the answer is 5 by 4d my dear students. So the answer will be b. So my dear students we have now completed 10 PYQs very small class because only half an hour is permitted and I have tried to complete these 10 questions somehow in half an hour so you might feel that uh, I'm teaching at a very high speed but my dear students you always have the option to pause the video later and uh, because it's just half an hour that I was supposed to conduct the class so I have conducted it in best of my capacity and I have tried to explain you each and everything in this sheet so you can follow me on an academy app by the name Varun Goyal Okay, and I am always live at 4 p.m. in the evening and I would be live at 4 p.m. Uh, on next Wednesday because I will be at some uh, holidays at uh, on some leave for that much part. So we can meet on Wednesday. So, okay dear students, this is Professor Varun from an academy. I hope you have enjoyed the class. Bye.